Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import an image into your data figure and edit it to fit certain specifications. I downloaded a picture from Pexus.com and to bring it in here, what you do is you grab it with the left mouse key and then pull it into your Inkscape. And you have this window coming up that would define certain things about the picture or leave it at this default and go OK. Like with the graphs, we see that a big image comes into our screen. So what we'll do is to look at one of the sides and then holding the control key down, we grab this handle with the left mouse key and pull it in to shrink. We adjust the pitch and pull our picture towards the side. We hold the control key down again and then using the left mouse key, we pull this again to shrink. Now we try to put this into position and then bring our initial graph so we see. And right now I want it to sit in here between this guideline and this guideline. I may take away the grid by going to view page grid is off and then I'm going to hold the control key down, grab this handle, with the left mouse key and then pull it again to fit. So right now it is fitting in here and I may use the arrow head key to bring it a little bit down so that it sits a little bit centralized to this. After it is set in position, we go back again to view page grid and we may want to define the scale like for every other scientific stuff. I do not have the exact scale here, but if you took the picture with a camera or with a microscope, there are possibilities for you to define that scale. So I'll just put something fictitious here. And for that, I'll go to the Bezier tool and then when I bring it to the page using the grid and I see handle to grid, I click to get the first note and then hold the control key down and then go to the next one, double click. And I have something which I can use like my scale. We may take that down to the lower right side of the page. And then we go to this other graph and then on group, choose this then, take control D to duplicate, use the arrowhead key to bring it this way. And once we have it, we now can indicate using the text tool, we may want to say this bar is equivalent to one centimeter. We use the selection tool to select and we adjust it a little bit. This may be way too big. We can use the text tool again and then go select it and maybe reduce this to about six. And we guide the position to sit centrally. Now that I'm through with the graph, I'm going to use the selection tool, click here and pull over the first graph and go to object and group. I do the same for the second graph, pull, go to object, group, and I do the same for both and go to object, group. And to appreciate my data figure, I go again to view, take off the page grids and I see what it is. This looks fine to me. This was a good overview on how you could import and edit a composite plot like the one we see on the left and how you can import an image into Inkscape to make your data figure. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you in future to make better data figures. Please do not forget to give a thumbs up and to leave your feedback below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.